Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. You see Brian Kohlberger smiling there, right there next to me. Brian wins again, folks. Brian Kohlberger and his defense team have won a second battle in reference to this case. This is the second win he got within the last 30 days. Two wins for Brian Kohlberger. First, remember a few weeks ago, Judge Judge, the judge handling Brian Kohlberger's case, ordered that the prosecution hand over some IgG material related to his case. Remember that a couple weeks ago? Now, what comes out of that, we don't know. But a lot of the media outlets have ruled that a win for Brian Kohlberger's defense. Now, Brian Kohlberger wins again. A new ruling today. It dropped today with the Moscow, Idaho case. The judge banned cameras in the courtroom. The judge said no more media cameras or still photography in the courtroom granting Brian Kohlberger's defense motion. Check this out. For the reasons stated below, the court grants Kohlberger's motion to remove cameras from the courtroom as it pertains to cameras both still and video operated by the media. However, the court will continue to allow the proceedings to be videoed by a court-operated camera system. This will help to alleviate the concerns raised by both the defense and the state, but at the same time will ensure the public still has access to see the proceedings for themselves if they cannot attend hearings in person. So Kohlberger's defense, another win. They got cameras removed from the courtroom, media cameras. So that is two big wins for Brian Kohlberger's Defense and Brian Kohlberger within the last month. People are still wondering, is Brian Kohlberger's defense good or not? Adequate? Well, they've been winning some motions lately. Now at the same time, you know, he had his motion to dismiss the indictment denied. But do you think Brian Kohlberger will get more wins when it comes to this case? He wanted cameras banned, and now the judge has banned cameras. The judge will have his own court-ordered cameras. But this was a motion initiated by the defense, so it's a victory on Brian Kohlberger. I'm a little bit shocked. I'm a little bit shocked. What else will Brian Kohlberger win with this case? With this case? Will he actually get off? Will he actually get acquitted uh, with his defense? What other tricks do his defense have up their sleeves? When it comes to the Moscow, Idaho case. What's your thoughts? Um, do you think cameras should have been banned? Even though they're, they aren't banned in a sense where the courts will have their own cameras. But we don't know the positioning. See, the defense didn't want the cameras on Brian Kohlberger. One of the reasons for banning the cameras in the courtroom, the judge said, was that the courts were zooming in on Brian Kohlberger as he was going in and out of the courts. So it's a victory for Brian Kohlberger's defense. They actually won something. And they who knows what they'll get with the IgG material. That, to me, uh, is a slight win because they've been asking for stuff the prosecution has not been releasing. I'm a proponent of openness and transparency. If Brian Kohlberger's defense is asking for records in order to have a fair trial, give it to him. Give it to him. What's your thoughts? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho case. How many more wins will Brian Koberger get? Or does he get more losses than wins? What's your thoughts on that? And is this a growing trend? Will he continue to win? Or do you not consider this a win at all? And this is just standard. You win some motions, you take some wins, take some losses, goes both ways with the prosecution. But ultimately at the end, who will win the outcome of this case? Kohlberger? or the prosecution. Who will win? What do you think? We'll talk soon. Stay tuned.